Uh, Bitcoin tends to rally in October, possibly opening the door for MKR, a rune in other altcoins after rising about 80% in the first two quarters of 2023. Bitcoin fell roughly 11% in the third quarter ending September. However, there is a silver lining for the bulls because they um, managed a positive monthly close in September, the first since 2016. Uh, buyers will try to build upon this momentum in October, which has a bullish uh, track record, according to Coin Last Data. Only 2014 and 2018 have produced negative monthly returns since 2013 in October. There is no guarantee that history will repeat itself, but the data can be used as a good starting point to formulate strategies by traders. And the recent strength in Bitcoin has also boosted interest in all coins. So select altcoins are trying to break above their respective overhead resistance levels, indicating the start of a robust uh, situation recovery. The bullish momentum uh, could pick up further if Bitcoin extends uh, its relief rally to $28,000. Uh, not all altcoins are expected to blast off to the, to the upside. Uh, the cryptocurrencies that are showing strength are the ones that may lead the recovery higher. Uh, let's study the charts of the top five cryptocurrencies that could outperform in the near term. Uh, Bitcoin has been trading above the moving averages since SEP28, um, which is uh, a, a positive sign. This shows that the advantage is gradually tilting in favor of the buyers. Uh, the uh, bears are trying to stall the rally near $27,500, but the bulls have not given up much ground. This shows that every minor dip is being purchased. This increases the odds of a break above 27,500 and 500. The BTC USDT pair could then retest the crucial overhead resistance at $28,143. When a, if the price turns down sharply from $28,143, the pair can retest the 20 day exponential moving average. A strong bounce off this level could kick the price above $15,88,143. The pair may subsequently climb to $30,000. Uh, this bullish view will be negated in the near term. If the price turns down and dives below the solid support, uh, $26,000. Uh, and the four hour chart shows that the pair has taken support at the 20 EMA. And this indicates that the bulls are trying to take charge. However, um, the bears are unlikely to give up easily, and they will try to halt the recovery in the zone between $27,300 and $27,500. Um, the sellers will then have to yank the price below the 20 EMA to seize control. Uh, conversely, if bulls pierce the overhead resistance at $27,500, it will pave the way for a possible rally to $28,143. This level may witness a tough battle between the buyers and sellers. Maker broke and closed above $1,370 on separate 26, indicating the start of a new uptrend. When an asset is in an uptrend, traders tend to buy on dips. Uh, the bears tried to stall the up move at $1,600, but the bulls purchased the dip at $1,432. This indicates that the sentiment remains positive and lower levels are being bought. If bulls propel the price above 1600 bucks, the MKR USDT pair could rally to 1760 and then sprint to $1,909. And that's regional, uh, contrary to this assumption. If the price turns down sharply and skids below $1,432, it could make room for a retest of the breakout level at $1,370. The dares have to yank the price below this support to indicate that the uptrend may be over. That the four hour chart shows that the bears are fiercely protecting the overhand resistance at $1,600. If bulls want to keep their chances of continuing the uptrend alive, they will have to buy the dips to the 20 EMA. If the price snaps back from the 20 EMA, the buyers will once again try to overcome the obstacle at $1,600 and start the next leg of the uptrend. Alternatively, a collapse to 1,432 and then to the 50 simple moving average may begin if the pair drops below the 20 EMA.
Yep. Uh, Ave is trying to break above the long-term downtrend line, indicating a potential trend change. Uh, the rebound off the 20-day EMA on September 28 indicates a change sentiment from selling on rallies to buying on dips. Uh, the bears will try to stall the recovery at the downtrend line, but if bulls do not allow the price to slip back below the 20-day EMA, they would increase the likelihood of a break above it. The AAVE USDT pair could thereafter start enough move toward $88. The 20-day EMA is the important support to watch on the downside. If this level cracks, it will suggest that bears remain active at higher levels. That could pull the price down to the 50-day SMA. Uh, both uh, the upsloping 20 EMA and the relative strength index uh, near the overbought zone uh, indicate that the bulls are in command. The rally may face selling at the downtrend line. Um, but uh, the bulls will try to arrest the decline at the 20 EMA. A strong rebound off the 20 EMA will open the doors for a possible rise above the downtrend line. The pair may first rally to $75 and next to $80 and monitorators injuries the stake. The bears will have to sink and sustain the price below the 20 EMA to break the tempo. Um, there's so much that everybody's like that did not basically be a bunch three days so that's so much the same uh, they were talking about uh, maybe if bulls do not give up much ground from the current level it will improve the prospects of a rally above two dollars if that happens the rune USDT pair could in first rise to two dollars and twenty eight cents and subsequently to two dollars and seventy eight cents seven uh, this positive view will be invalidated in the near term if the price turns down and plunges below uh, the moving averages um, such a move will suggest that the bulls uh, have have uh, given up and the pair uh, may then drop to a dollar thirty seven the four-hour chart shows that the bears are selling near the overhead resistance at two dollars but a positive sign is that the bulls have not allowed the price uh, to skid and sustain below the 20 EMA. Um, this suggests that lower levels are attracting buyers. Um, if bulls push and maintain the price above $2, it will signal the start of a new uptrend. The pair could then surge toward $2.35. On the contrary, and the price turns down and breaks below the 20 EMA it will indicate the start of a deeper correction to the 50 SMA. Injective has been swinging inside a large range between $5.40 and $10 for the past several days. The price action inside a range can be random and volatile, but when the boundaries are far apart, trading opportunities may arise. Uh, moving averages have completed a bullish crossover and the RSI is in positive territory, indicating that bulls have the upper hand the ING USDT pair could first rise to the $8.28, where the bears may mount a strong resistance. If bulls overcome this barrier, the pair could pick up momentum and soar towards $10. If bears want to prevent the upside, they will have to defend the overhead resistance and quickly drag the price below the moving averages. The pair uh, could then retest or what the immediate support at $6.36. Uh, both moving averages are sloping up on the four-hour chart, and the RSI is in the overbought territory, suggesting that the bulls have a slight edge. The rally could reach 828, which is likely to act as a strong hurdle. On the downside, the first support is at the 20 EMA. A bounce off this level will indicate that the uptrend remains intact. Uh, contrarily, a break below the 20 EMA will be signaled that the bulls are booking profits down to the 50 SMA.